Firstly, I welcome uh, the Honorable Australian High Commissioner, Mr. Barry, <coughs> to Hyderabad and to Telangana. And also, I'd like to welcome um, Consul General Sarah Kirlu, also for the uh, first time, I think, uh, uh, to Hyderabad. Thank you, Jayesh, for, uh, Jayesh and Deepthi for facilitating this uh, conversation here today. Um, one of the most important things, one of the most important initiatives of government of Telangana after we assumed office about six and a half years ago was VHUB, which uh, was conceptualized about three years, I think it was uh, three years ago exactly on International Women's Day, which was the day before yesterday. So I'm very proud, very happy with the kind of progress VHUB has made over the last three years. In fact, um, VHUB has not only been uh, a role model to the rest of the country, VHUB also has been a very strong anchor and um, you know, uh, 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 leader by example to many other states. In fact, um, I know I was part of uh, two conversations, one with government of Gujarat, another with government of Kashmir, where um, VHUB also uh, is steering, is kind of directing, is guiding the local women entrepreneurial ecosystem there. With this partnership with Australian government, in fact, as Deepti pointed out, Australia has been a great supporter, the government of Australia has been a great supporter to VHUB, even before you really started your journey and you were in, a, in, in your infancy, so to speak. Now, the second grant today that has been given out also reinforces not just this partnership, this belief, but also your commitment, uh, Barry, and the Australian government's commitment to improving the entrepreneurial ecosystem in, in, in our country, in India. Um, your point about only 10% of startups being founded by women and only a minuscule percentage of that being funded by venture capital is absolutely um, right on the money. In fact, um, it is one area I think my government and other governments also need to constantly work on, need to constantly possibly, you know, if, if private funding is not coming about, I think public funding is another source that we should potentially uh, explore. In our conversation before we walked in, we were also talking about some superannuation funds and others who potentially could look at um, you know, opportunities in a country like India. One of the things I, I, I would like to believe would, could be of interest, I'm not talking necessarily about only the superannuation fund, but also other you know, crowdsourced or other public funded models, which could also look at um, you know, uh, furthering the cause of entrepreneurship and more particularly women entrepreneurship in India, um, you know, it could be a great, uh, um, you know, um, great initiative going forward. Is that, um, you know, we could have some of our women entrepreneurs explore the Australian market and vice versa. We could have the Australian startups also come into India through VHUB and we could see how they could explore the Indian market. So not only in India, if you ask me, the women, the young women who are here, who have been working on brilliant ideas, you should also expand your horizons. It's not just about one market in India. We should potentially look at, since you, since you have Australian government as a partner, you should also look at opportunities in Australia and how we could potentially tap into them. And I'm sure Australian High Commissioner and uh, the Consul General would be happy to welcome you to Australia to explore more and vice versa. Of course, it's a two-way street. It can't, can't be a, it can't be a one-way kind of a thing. So we would be more than happy to facilitate, you know, through T-Hub, through V-Hub, for Australian, um, you know, startups to come into India, and with this program up surge, I think uh, a lot of young women would benefit. Once again, I thank uh, the Australian government profusely for your continued support and guidance. And all the other things we discussed, I think uh, we'll save it for later. We will save it for another conversation. But thank you very much, Barry, and uh, Sarah, for coming to Hyderabad and Telangana. Thank you.